Hey guys, it's P. Cristo, and today I'm gonna be making a spinach walnut pesto pasta with turkey meatballs. I like to make dinner at least once a week during the school year, and this is an amazing dish to make, and it takes less than a half hour to make it, so let's get on with it. First, I'm gonna be making the meatball base. So we're gonna be taking about half of a red onion, three tablespoons of walnuts, and two cloves of garlic, putting it into the food processor. Okay, now I'm gonna be putting in a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. This will make them just a little spicy. Next, one tablespoon of dried oregano. And then we're gonna be putting in two teaspoons of kosher salt. So next we're gonna be adding in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce <laughs> and one tablespoon of olive oil. This will help keep them moist. Now we will pulse it. That looks super creamy. Next, I'm gonna empty the contents into the meatballs. Look at that Worcester sauce. Coco, here you gotta mix it with your bare hands. Yay. So now I'm gonna add in my chopped flat leaf parsley and my dehydrated potato flakes, which I use instead of breadcrumbs to keep it moist and tender. <laughs> you know, you gotta get it all mixed in. Come on, Coco, get it in there. Coco, thanks for doing all of the dirty work. How about you start forming meatballs now? Um, I, yeah, that's actually, that's a good size. I feel like if Coco could make them as big as she wanted, that whole thing would be just a huge meatball. It would, you're right. Okay, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> no! Oh, did he catch me? Yeah, give me your arm. No! I need to do something. No, touch me. This guy. Coco? Okay, these go in for 15 minutes at 375 degrees, which I preheated the oven to. We gotta put them in for exactly 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna do my pesto, and when it gets to eight minutes until the meatballs are done, I'm gonna put in my pasta. So let's start. I have my blender here, and I'm going to put in two cloves of garlic, then four cups of my spinach. Now I'm gonna be putting in two cups of my basil. I'm just getting rid of the stems because you don't want stems. Now I'm gonna be putting in my California walnuts. By adding walnuts to this pesto, I don't even have to use cheese, so that's really nice. Olive oil and a lemon. Okay, now I'm gonna put in a generous sprinkle of salt and I can do more later to taste. Next, I'm gonna put in my pasta. Okay, so the meatballs are done. So let's take them out. They're turkey, so they won't get dark brown, but they're absolutely delicious. The pasta's al dente, so I'm gonna go strain it. I'm gonna reheat it back up on the stove with half of my pesto sauce. Let's start with that. Okay, now we're ready to plate it. Okay, so we're gonna be adding some cherry tomatoes for color some walnuts for crunch. Okay, this is spinach walnut pesto pasta with turkey meatballs. It took me less than a half hour to make and it's delicious. Okay, let's dig in. Coco, want a meatball? Mmm, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thanks for watching me make my spinach walnut pesto pasta with turkey meatballs with California walnuts. Enjoy.